My name is Mark. Welcome back to my home. This is another um, upgrade maintenance video for my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Um, this trailer has a nice Aldi system in it. That Aldi heater system is both a heater and a hot water system. Um, works great. I like it. It's a hydronic system, which means that it has a boiler that heats a mixture of glycol, circulates it around in a loop, and that warm water basically heats the rest of your trailer. Works great. I love it. Um, there is maintenance that's required on it. Um, that liquid as it travels around can corrode the pipes and the boiler and stuff. So that what Aldi has said is that every two years they want you to drain, flush, and replace what they call their transfer fluid. It's a mixture of propylene, glycol, water, and anti-corrosive um, chemicals. Um, it's non-toxic and it needs to be because inside that boiler, since that boiler also heats hot water for your tap, it needs to be um, non-toxic because if it ever leaked between the two systems, if it were toxic, you definitely wouldn't want to be drinking that stuff. So Aldi says every two years you need to replace that fluid and it's a pain. And it's a pain for a couple of reasons. Um, uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that out in the trailer in a bit and I'll show you why it's such a pain to drain <laughs> this this fluid but what Aldi's done and a lot of you have heard about it is they they originally used a chemical called transfer fluid made by Century Chemical um, Century Chemical as a company has been around it's one of the oldest companies making this kind of product they've been around forever um, this stuff is great. It works good. Um, it, it's been in use for a long time. It's non-toxic. It's got all those nice features. But um, in order to cut costs, um, what Aldi has done and New Camp has had to pick up because of it is they have replaced this transfer fluid made by Century by another transfer fluid um, made by a company called Row Water. Um, the two chemicals are very similar, except for the fact that the new water has more corrosion resistant chemicals in it. It's same propylene glycol and water, but has more of the uh, chemicals that keep the metal pipes and stuff from corroding. So what that means is that this stuff needs to be changed every two years, but the raw water stuff can be replaced every five. Well, you know what that means is that new trailers that are coming off the line under warranty don't need to be drained and flushed even half as often. So that pushes off the cost of a warranty for New Camp and Aldi. Um, and that's why they've done that. It's, it's, it's a great thing, I suppose. I originally was going to go down the road of, and, and the new chemical, the raw water chemical, is completely backward compatible with, with the old stuff, um, with the old systems, except for the fact that you must, absolutely must, remove all of the old stuff before putting any of the new stuff in. So it means you have to drain it, blow it, flush it, clean it, flush it, drain it, blow it, and refill. <laughs> it's a long process. It's a, actually, it's a 12-step process that um, Row Water has laid out for any hydronic system that they use that, that fluid in. 
Um, the row water is used in lots of other hydronic systems, not just the Aldi for New Camp, but lots of other systems. And so they have a process by which they talk about going from one liquid type to their liquid type, and it's a 12-step process, and it's really long. Well, I wanted, I do my own maintenance, so I wanted to not do this maintenance every two years. I thought it would be a great idea to do it every five, so I was going to go ahead and make a video on how to flush, clean, flush, blow, flush, clean, <laughs> blah, 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 this stuff out to put the row stuff in. However, I ran into some issues. Number one, row water is very difficult to find a place that will sell it to you retail. You can, but it's difficult. Number two, when you do find a place that wants to sell it to you on um, retail, they want to sell it to you in five gallon non diluted 50 50 liquid, um, which basically means you have to buy the row water in what's equivalent to 10 gallon batches. And it's very expensive that way. I did find in a month of research, I found only one place one place in all of America, and it's in Phoenix, that would sell you pre-diluted one-gallon batches of raw water. In talking with them, they were saying that, yes, they will sell that to you, but two, they won't ship it to you. You have to pick it up yourself. And three, they're not going to continue offering it in that way. It takes up too much shelf space in that form, and they don't have enough market for it. So... I did some further research and I found that Century Chemical is one of the oldest chemical companies making this stuff around. Row Chemical, on the other hand, um, is, is a newcomer to the business. Century Chemical is a $4 million a year business. Row Chemical is only a $2 million a business. So that the company that's backing this product will be around. The company that's backing the new Row Water who knows? They're new to the business and they don't make many sales relative to Century. So I was concerned about how, <clears throat> what happens in five years. Let's say I go through this whole process and I swap out all of my liquid and I clean it all up and now I've got row water in there. Five years from now, what if I can't get row water? What does that mean? Do I have to do another whole flush thing, blah, blah, blah? Pretty ugly. So what I've what I've come down to is this, in a nutshell, and I know this video is getting long and I'll break it here pretty quick. In a nutshell, my choice is to go with the original century fluid, but make the process of swapping this fluid easy. The, the reason people don't swap this fluid is because it's hard. It can take some special pumps. and I mean, it's, it's either expensive if you take it to a dealership or it's hard for you to do it yourself. And we'll show you why it's hard. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with these components, I am going to make changes to my Aldi heater system so that I can change this out in a flash. And that's my goal. My goal wasn't to put in better fluid just for the sake of having better fluid in it. My, my reason for doing that was to help with maintenance. Well, if I don't trust the new fluid's going to be around, um, <laughs> I can stay with the old fluid, the regular stuff, not have to worry about such a uh, flush situation, and just make the process of draining this um, Aldi out um, easy. If it only takes me 10 minutes every, every two years to swap out this fluid, I'm all for it. Um, so that's where we're going to go. So I've done a map of the entire Aldi um, heating system loop, and I will include it in, in this video here. Um, so now let's go out to the trailer, and I want to show you the number one reason why it's hard to, to, to drain and refill even with the original system. Um, it has to do, the Aldi system's great, but it has to do with how New Camp actually installed it. So let's get out there and take a look. Mm -hmm. 